All right, what's up everybody? So today we've got a 2014, I believe, uh, 579 with a Cummins ISX. And it's getting coolant in the fuel, so it's not your head. Uh, this is something that Cummins later went back and, and uh, built a part for this to get it fixed. The, you put rings inside of your uh, injectors and you buy a tool to press them in. So today we're going to show you guys how to get that done. So the first thing that we're going to do here is tear into it from the top and get to the injectors. So I mean I guess that's pretty straightforward. And uh, I'm going to take this pipe off here air cleaner and the valve cover. And remember folks, always put a rag over your turbo. You don't want stuff getting in there. All right, now if you remember in my uh, injector tutorial on how to change them, we took these nuts off, and then there's a bolt down in here that we take off as well. And then we also had these lines and those quill tubes that we take off. So we're just gonna continue taking off these quill tubes and that injector, take that out, and we'll show you how to put those rings in there. All right, so he's taking off the quill tubes and uh, the wiring harness and injectors. While he's doing that, let me just explain real quick what happens when you have this issue. Um, the head cracks, uh, where the injectors go into the head cracks and coolant comes through and goes into the fuel, onto the pistons uh, and also into your return lines. So there's these rings, um, that they have where it fixes that problem. I've got one right here. Um, let me open it up real quick and I'll show you guys. So these are those rings that I'm talking about. Um, you know, they're, they're not very big. We call them wedding rings. But these just go into where the injectors go in. The injectors go through. And we have a machine, a little press, that you can buy from Cummins and press them in there. And when you've pressed them in there, it blocks that coolant from getting back into your injector, uh, into your injector ports. So just because you're getting coolant through into the fuel, having issues like that, uh, does not mean you need to replace your head. So some of these, I think it's uh, 2012, they started having this issue. The heads became weaker and Cummins realized that so they fixed it and they made these rings um, I'll put the part number in the description because if you don't have a part number people like Peterbilt, Kenworth, they have no idea what you're talking about so uh, you need that part number and tell them you need a retaining ring that's that's what they're called retaining ring for the injectors on a Cummins so with that being said let's get to it alright first injectors out So, as you can see, there is no ring down there yet. So, he's going to grab the ring, put it in there in that tool. Don't forget, you want to take these quill tubes out from the back side um, that are under here. So that you can take that injector out, otherwise you will never pull that injector out. So, just a quick reminder. All right, so I have the ring, and now I just want to drop it in there, kind of like that, and then you just want to 
straighten it out there just like that all right now this is the tool and it's designed specifically for this job and it fits in there perfectly so you screw on this one for a for a set to for a base on the back then you take your injector bolt that you unscrew the injector with and you screw that one in as a guide No. And then you screw that big one down. Alright, so quick correction. There's actually a bolt that comes with this tool, uh, and I forgot about that. So this screws it down. So you want it flush uh, with the head so and then you give that one get nice and snug and then you're ready to screw that one down good you just got to snug it up real good you just take it out the same way you put it in take that little bolt just take it up and out there now the ring is in it's fully seated we can put the injector back in and put that quilt tube back on. Remember that's 59 foot-pounds on these injectors. But you do want to check your own service manual, manual just to make sure uh, because a lot of ISXs can be different if you have performance parts inside of them. All right, we're on the second one here. And one thing I want to point out is you see that, well, my camera will focus, but it's nasty in there. You can see there's been coolant down there. And so if you see that in one of your injector holes then you know that it will be the problem and these rings will definitely fix them so we're going to continue with these up the other ones and then we will see if the truck works better all right here is the completed product so we've got all those rings in there now um, and all these lines they're all on quill tubes are in everything is done so we're gonna fire it up and see how it runs. Well, 
Doesn't look like it's got fuel yet. all these fuel lines open and taken off so it's all got to be refilled with fuel but we'll get it going here in a little bit Long story short on the whole thing, um, we ended up replacing all those lines and quill tubes on it and uh, the number one and two had not actually seated the way they were supposed to so we ended up pulling out the injectors and pushing those rings in further. So just make sure you push those rings in far enough every time and uh, you should be fine. But anyway, that's how you do it. That's how you get your head fixed, you know, in a sense. So I would appreciate if you like and subscribe. Um, let me know what else you guys want to see.